there. In this video, we're going to learn how to customize the look and feel of an Ignite UI data chart. So let's get started. We created the chart you see here in another video on data chart basics. For this video, we're going to take this chart and change some of the styling aspects to make this chart look like this chart. Now, it's not a huge difference, but the point here is really for you to learn how to find the different aspects of the chart that you'd like to style. First, let's drop into Visual Studio. This is the page that we'll be working with, and as we do a review of the code, I'll take you through each aspect. Ignite UI controls are rendered through JavaScript. So here, I'll set up the script section of my view and render out the Ignite UI loader. That's found in a bundle, which loads in the Ignite UI loader. Then we set up the loader and tell it where to find the JavaScript and style sheet paths, so it knows where to find those files. And then we load in the resource that says we'll be using the data chart with the category feature. Once those scripts are loaded, we can take a data array and add that into a data chart. Here, the data source is being set equal to the array. Then we create the X and Y axes and apply a series of data to them. There are a number of different aspects of the chart that you can style. The axes themselves, the labels, the tick marks. You have a lot of control over how your chart looks. For this demo, we'll style the series, which will change how the bars look within the chart. So here, I'll paste in some code on the series, and you can see now that we're providing a value for brush. This could be named a color like red or blue, or an actual hex color, as you see here. Then we'll turn on drop shadow by saying drop shadow enabled, naming a color for the drop shadow, and saying what offset we want it to be for each axis. So, by setting just a few options on the series, you're able to quickly see how you can change the way the chart is rendered. But like I said, you have a lot of options to change in the chart. Let's explore them here so that you'll know how to style the chart to your liking. If you point your browser to igniteui.com and come up to the navigation menu, you can search in the jQuery controls for data chart and find the data chart overview. From there, you'll find a high-level overview of the chart. But if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll find the API reference. When you click on the API reference, that brings you to the help documentation of the API of the control itself. Now, once you're here, you can go into the options and explore the options that are available for the axes, the series, and other aspects of the chart. For instance, if we open up the axes, you'll notice that you can take control over the label horizontal alignment and decide whether you want it left, center, or right. You can even control the label location. Here you have a lot of different options available to you of where you'd like that label to render on the chart. What's more, if you explore the series, you'll find a whole list of items that you can change. You can see here that drop shadow is enabled, and even further down, shadow color and the offset options are all available as well. As you can see, there are endless options for you to style your chart to your liking. With Ignite UI, almost anything is possible. So that's what's in development. See you next time.